niggas, now they never been a friend of me. GL don't trust them, I'ma smoke them like a chimney. Counting all these blues, young nigga got the remedy. I'm balling all these niggas, catching islands like I'm Sunny B. SOB Sneak. That's the game, man. What's popping with you, bro? Shit, man. It's been a minute since we've been back on the projects working together, man. You've been dropping. You've been doing shows. So. You've been networking, man. What's going on, man? Tell us about yeah, it. How, how them shows been, man? Oh, uh, man, them shows been crazy. They been crazy because it's like they ain't expect a nigga to be there. You feel me? Nobody expect me to be there. Right. So it's like when a nigga came, you feel me? It's like they showed me the love that I know I was supposed to have. You feel me? So it felt good to even just be in them environments and shit. You know? So so since Dre Day, how many performances you think you even did? Ooh, like 20. We've been moving because we've been everywhere. Like, you feel me? I ain't just saying he my witness, my brother my witness. Uh, just like trying to take over. The takeover got to be real because like if I don't take over, then where I'm going to be. You know? Some of the cities that you guys hit up? Uh, we've been in Petaluma, Sac, uh, Berkeley, uh, where else? Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Yeah, we, uh, we just came back from Vegas not too oh, long ago. Okay, so you, yeah, y'all was moving. Y'all was moving. What was one of the, the most like live shows this year? Uh, I got to keep it real. He love Petaluma, but uh, I'm going to be real. Like From yeah, my yeah. standpoint, from me being on the mic, uh -huh. it was Sac. It was Sacramento. Sacramento? Like, Sac showed the love, like, bro, all the they lights. Did. And that felt like the dream that I, I was, you feel me, I seen before, like, all right. the lights and shit. Like, I don't know, it's, it's amazing to me, bro. Like, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm sure it's a big moment. You know, you put a lot of work and creativity into your music, right. and then you see all these people appreciate like, it. You know, it's like they hogging the microphone from like, from yeah. <laughs> They singing your shit, and you, ain't not supposed to be performing. I'm like, goodness, like, this is mainly right now. It just, I'm, I'm just blessed and um, thankful to be right here in this position. So, besides you going on the shows, it's the songs that you've been performing, that you've been dropping. Yeah. Want War, Thuggin', Bro. So, what it mean? Humble Pie. Humble Pie. What we at? Four, what, 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 what you at? 400K now? Yeah, I think I got like one view on that. <laughs> uh, bro. I mean, shit, the, the fans blessed me with 400k. I, uh, I wouldn't be with nothing without them. If I wouldn't be with nothing without my family support, everybody supports. So it's the, it's the uh, people they, they love that shit. Thank you for supporting that humble pop shit. So, uh, Doug, and they, they starting to eat that up too. They loving that a lot right now too. That's one of my favorites though. Like, I don't know. I, I mean what I say. So, right. that right there is real. Where was niggas at when I was really out here trying to make something out of nothing? Like, and that's another thing about your music. You tell a lot of messages about yourself, about your struggles. You, you speak through your music. I mean, because it's like, if you don't get them a picture to look at, then, like, what are you doing this for? Are you doing it for the fame? Like, mm -hmm. that ain't me at the end of the day. The fame ain't nothing to me because all I want to do is just get out the struggle. That's all I ever wanted to do. Like, you feel me? Like, so that's what my mind said. That my, my mama told me just sing, sing your life, sing your heart out. Shit, I'm at the point where I'm singing my heart right now. You feel me? Everything that's on my heart. People want to hear something different. You feel me? Like, but that's where it's lanes for this music. Right. You feel me? And put me in my own lane with no cars in front of me or behind me. So, you know, the last interview, we talked about consistency. And I got to bring it back up, man. Your consistency level is out of this roof. Uh, there are many artists who have been in the game longer than you. And they don't have that same consist consistency level, you know? And I think that's probably one of the hardest things to do in music. Because, like, yeah, you can make a good song. But can you make two? Right. Can you make three? Can you make four? Man. Can you make five? Can you make two tapes? Can you make three tapes, you know? And just based off of how you've been moving, how you pace yourself, you know, when you do your music. Yeah, you've no, definitely been showing that consistency level. So, you know... Um, I, I have no doubt in my mind that the future is going to be very, very big for you. Uh, I say it like this, man. I just got hunger pains. Hmm. Like, literally. Like, you know, I'm nigga just so sick of, sick of not being heard. I'm so sick of people overlooking my story. Like, everybody got a life, you feel me? But, like, what about yours? I'm going to stand out. Like, I done been through this ringer where it's just like it's time for me to speak on it. Let me give that that same empowerment, you feel me, to, to uplift somebody. I wanna uplift the people. Right. 
Um, so it's like that's where it comes with good music. You know, I ain't just saying anything. I want to say something for the youth, for something for the for the people that really been down and trying to get up. Like you know, like a lot of people ain't been nowhere when you was thugging. A lot of my folks don't know how to really stay humble. Uh, you know, real niggas know when you're on the street, nigga, you, you, they can say you're as comfortable as you want to, but you paranoid as fuck, bro. You don't know what's going on, bro. You feel me? Like, they they see us as the people. They think we young, wild, and tripping. Right. Um, see, I ain't, I ain't think nobody would love me neither. And those so, are all facts, though. Those are my songs. Let me ask you a question. So now that you, you have a voice and a platform, I hear you say that you're bringing messages through your music. Is that a hard thing to do? Uh, Is it, it a hard thing to, to send a message, you know, create something there deeper than what's in the music? Um, at, at times, at times it can be. If if you know, if you ain't been through no real life situations, like you know, man, I I mean, I'm, I'm a regular person. You feel like, me? let's take humble pie for example. I perceived Humble Pie as um, kind of like a real coming out song for you, like a real coming out song, and very expressive about you know being told to just stay humble and you know stay consistent, and and then it's just a message in your music, you know. So I I just like damn, is that hard to do or is that just come natural like? Is that just something? Is that just how you? Nah, that's just me. Like, if I write any to any beat, like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to come out. I'm trying to stay conscious in the things that I'm saying because it's important that I, I uplift somebody. Like, you know, that I just feel like that's my calling to be an advocate. You know, you feel me? I and it's easy to recognize because it's so easy to just make bullshit music. Right. You, you can turn on, on the radio and just hear it all fucking all day. Right. You know, bullshit music. So when you hear somebody actually like take time, structure, and creativity. And then send a message through the project. This shit is like every song, though. man. Every that song. shit is beyond. Like, I don't know. Like I say, like can you spit shit that's real every song? We got a, we got a song. I got something to prove. Like every day, feel me? Every song. Ain't no. I, I'm here now. So now let me just talk about anything. No, I'm here now. So let me try to keep continue to grow. So I see you got the Thiz clothing on. Um, is there ties with this or something that you can talk about? Or are you just supporting the brand? What's up with that? Uh, right now we just have me supporting the brand. Oh, okay. Uh, shout out Kilo Kerr. Uh, My ties. Rest in peace, Matt Dre. Uh, Matt Wanda. You know the whole Thiz camp. Uh, I mean, it's something serious in the making, though. I mean, you just gotta. Keep your, keep your uh, eyes to the shit, man. Uh, it's, it's real serious. That's what I will say. So, you know. Y'all gonna see. <laughs> Hypey ain't gonna dead, be. nigga. Man. Hypey ain't hey. dead. Major comeback. Well, you know, I always said that this was... They still are the one of the best corporations that was built in the Bay Area, man. Mac Dre is legendary. And what he did for music and what he did for communities all across the fucking world is unbelievable um, and how even though he passed his music is still strong his movement is still alive and you know it's not it's not too many artists who who came in the music industry and impacted like the world you know he he's definitely on that list I mean you uh, say it like this uh, Mike Dre was definitely that one of them pioneers that put yeah. us where we need to be so for me it's just nothing but again a dream to even be walking in the footsteps of that, you feel me? So I'm, I'm just thankful to be in a position, you feel me, to even be around this, you feel me, and to even you feel me, be in that right. kind of path Mac Dre was in, you feel me? Right. So it, it's something serious, I'm telling you, man. Kilo Kerr, shout out Kilo Kerr, man. Shout out to the uh, old Crest, the North Vallejo, College Park, the Ism niggas, you feel me? Huddle Gang, you know what it is. Man. So Vegas. Ooh. Who was popping in Vegas? Uh, them vibes like you know me. I'm, I, them vibe, they was vibes. They was really vibes. Honestly, like I, it was, it was nice. yeah, I loved it out there. I really, I damn, I was talking about living out there. And just, <laughs> Vegas, is, you feel me? Just so damn hot. We usually want to stay in the house. I'm a homebody anyway, so mm -hmm. I can't tell. So they bumped that AC. They they put me in that studio. I was in there for three days straight. So you were in the studio? Yeah, I was out there in the studio. I was uh just working on my little EP, trying to get it together. You EP, what's is it uh, name? Uh, we can get to what, what's going uh, on. Let's talk man, about it know, real we, quick. Uh, Oops. We uh, like I say, it's, it, it's something so? serious. Uh, we got um, on the name of Hunger Pains. Hunger Pains. Okay. Hunger Pains, like because uh, I, I mean I went from the Eden Prospect 
So I just want to see, you feel me, what can I get deeper out of that? Mm -hmm. well, I got deeper out of that with just hunger pains, you feel me? Because that's something I mean, like, from from a literal aspect to, you feel me? Because niggas, niggas be really trying not to go on a rum and noodle diet sometimes, you feel me? We, we still out here every day trying to make something out of nothing, you feel me? That's where we get dug in from, you feel me? Um, we still trying to feed the homeless, nigga. We still right. trying to put money in our pockets as well, though, right. you feel me? Man, we still trying to enlighten everybody, you feel me? That's where humble pie is, you feel me? Uh, we, we're still busting niggas shit, but we ain't looking for no problems. Mm. Uh, that's that's that one war. Right. Um, nigga, every, everywhere I go, though, it don't matter if I'm in the streets or nigga, if I'm in the room and I hear the motherfucking curtain click, nigga, I'm, I'm paranoid, nigga. That's, I'm just telling y'all how I feel about shit, you feel me? So, Hunger Pains, yeah. who can we expect to see on this project? Is this uh, just a solo project? Is, how? Uh, first off, is this an LP? Is this an EP? Is this going to be a mixtape? What is the album? How many songs you gonna? We'll see. Uh, I'm probably gonna do like a good solid twelve. What are we gonna do like twelve? It's like twelve on there. I'm probably pick out a solid twelve or something. Twelve songs. So I was thinking like sixteen. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, just do a whole, make it an album. Mm -hmm. We we'll probably do twelve. Who y'all will be definitely expecting is uh two three. Y'all gonna expect two three. Um and nigga, y'all y'all gonna expect Young Day for sure. Come on, man. Shout out okay. to the winning team. I mean, uh, y'all gonna expect Young Day, uh, y'all might be expecting Sleepy D and uh, PT Moolah. Any members of the RBSOB group? Ooh, come on, man. Any of your bros right. gonna jump on? That's just, okay, okay. Man, I ain't even talk about that. You know, that's, that's my nigga, that's my family, bro. I, I love the niggas to death, you feel me? I love the movement, I love how they carry the, the whole brain, you feel me? Now it's just up to me to continue to, continue to like, you feel me? Just Absolutely. make that shit rock, man. They ain't gonna stop, so you feel me? Like, my might as well. Make this shit happen for me. We got a wave now. Remember, I was talking about that coattail. We all got coattails now. For me, here we are. Ain't no big me, little me's. We trying to make it happen, niggas. We're gonna make it happen. For me, I'll tell you. I, I never been so in tune in my music in my life. Right. Tell right now. Like, like I said, I was at that point where I was working. Can't really focus on that shit. That's what I'm working and what my work is on music. So let's actually get into the uh, SOBRB. Um, are you guys signed or under any partnerships? We independent. Independent. <clears throat> we independent. And There's a lot of people ask that. They're like, oh, yeah, have nah, they signed uh, to any major groups like Def Jam or you know, Universal like, or anything? Too, we like, I mean, honestly, they are. They, we all, they all love us. We love them back. You feel me? Right. right now, we we trying to make it happen within us. You feel me? We got a lot of people that we want to bring on. So, just like, you know, we trying to keep this shit together. Make it a, make it a only a, it's a family thing. It's strictly my brothers. If you're not, nigga, you're irrelevant. You feel me? And that's, that's facts, nigga. It's all little thieves, little birdie. You feel me, nigga? We got so many niggas out the camp. It's like city streets. You know what I mean? Come on, man. It's, it's crazy right now.